Hi, Austin Odell, AJ Fishing with the Bass Tank, and I'm out here on a beautiful fishing day, and I've just come to bring you a quick tip. I hope today that will be very helpful. I don't see a whole lot of videos on it. It's on my Garmin uh, 1242 XSV. I hope you all can see the screen all right. I'm out here on a day that is probably not ideal for this. Uh, I'm going to show you how in this video to calibrate your Steadicast sensor. It's something that has to be done every once in a while. Obviously, you can see from my icon that uh, I've done it recently, but it doesn't have to be done really all that often. About every 8 to 10 months probably, just whenever this gets to going sideways or anything or gets out of calibration. Uh, the most ideal day for it is going to be calm and sunny. We don't have that today, but this video will demonstrate how to do that. And if nothing else, it'll demonstrate how to go through and set it up to be able to do it. Because I forget, because it takes so long to be able to go through to do it. Uh, I even have to call a mad scientist at the bass tank to be able to remember. So, what we'll do today is go from the chart screen. We're going to go to home. And we're going to go down here to settings communications NEMA 2000 setup and device list now it's in here in your steady cast you're going to click on that and go down to steady cast and we have compass calibration and auto heading alignment so we're going to go over both of those today first we're going to hit uh, compass calibration and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the motor all the way in one direction make you, make sure you got plenty of space for this doesn't really take a whole lot just to make a circle in the boat once the motor is all the way in one direction we're going to start the motor hit select and all we're going to do is put it in gear and then it's going to go through its progression and it'll tell you when it's done it doesn't take very long uh, and this is something that is helpful especially when fishing offshore and trying to make sure you're lined up on your waypoints Probably on the ideal day, you're trying to get close to, as close to 100 as you can. We'll probably be in the 70s today, you're close to it, which is just fine. That'll have it uh, plenty good, usually in the 70s and 80s is where I land most of the time anyway. And you can see we went in a complete circle, and now we're going just a one and a half times. So uh, we're almost complete. Okay, and that's a 77, that'll have that complete. And I've killed the motor, but what we're gonna do is hit select, and we're gonna go back and we're gonna do our auto heading alignment now. And you just need to make sure, because when I hit select on this, it's gonna say bring boat to cruising speed at constant heading with at least 45 seconds of hazard free water. You're not gonna have your chart for this, so just make sure there's nothing under the water that you would hit, and that you have plenty of room for this. And you just need about a quarter of a mile. It says 45 seconds. It's probably not even gonna be that long. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the motor. I'm gonna get us going in a constant heading because you don't want to have to uh, change your heading. That's just trying to make sure you're always going straight down the lake with your heading and with your sensor. So once I'm going in a constant direction, I'm gonna make sure the motor's straight in gear and we're just gonna select begin and I'm just gonna take off nice and smooth. just going to keep it in a constant heading and it usually doesn't take but about 30 to 45 seconds and just a nice cruising speed See when we came to success, you can just come off pad, hit select, and go back through, back to your chart page, and that should be it. That should have everything back calibrated. 
and we should be good to go for months now it should be just fine as you can see my heading is perfect and uh, they should have it good to go so thank you all for watching